Okay, a full paint cover, obviously you know. Um, the latch is right behind it. Very easy to use. Just undo this up. You open it up. Uh, two tanks, you have, uh, they're five gallons each tanks. Uh, you Actually, they're four, four and a half. Okay. Like four and a half gallons. Your regulator is directional, which you, if you see the arrow okay. right here, okay. you pick it. Pick and choose the tank. Right. Choose one tank, finish this, switch over. Uh, you could also put it in the middle if you prefer. You can use both at the same time. I mean, at the same time. Uh, but I don't recommend it. It doesn't really make any sense. Just yeah. choose one at a time. Uh, it has a window right here. You, you see the green. Mm -hmm. It also turns red. Uh, it is pressure operated. Uh, it's not going to tell you how much propane you have in there, mm -hmm. but it'll tell you if it's empty or full. Okay. Uh, there's a wing nut here. You undo the wing nut. Uh, cover comes off. Take the tanks off. Uh -huh. You can fill it almost any gas station. I don't know. You guys probably know that. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, and you just make this tight. Just hand tight. Okay. Uh, if this comes loose in, a, in some period of time, it's just screw. Okay, just you tighten just it with the screw. Turn, okay. Just turn around, make it tighter. All right. Uh, you have a single battery here, so it, it's not maintenance free. So I suggest every three months or six months, uh, there's caps on it, battery caps. Uh -huh. You probably know about it. Pop it open, fill up with distilled water. Okay. Oh, uh, just fill up to the top. Okay. There's no line. You just fill up till okay. it spills out, kind of. Mm -hmm. Not overspill, but just a little bit over. Uh, on this side, you have uh, you you have your spare tire cage that bar right there. Let me go. Okay. Show you. Your spare tire is on the bottom right there. Mm -hmm. So it has a, uh, a triangular hook. So it has two hinges in the back, and it swings open from the front. What it is is there's a handlebar here. Mm -hmm. You just hold it, lift it up a tiny bit, and uh, remove the pin. Okay. And this black part of it, it swings down, and then you just drop, kind of okay. slide it out, and do your business. Okay. Uh, this is a, a snore plug. Uh, the newer units come with it. Uh, when you actually put a solar on top, it, it's it's a part of it. It connects to the battery also. Okay. Uh, but this is also it's it's meant to be here if you have a portable solar. Okay. And let's say you put it outside, you buy one, you just directly connect it to that and it'll charge the battery. Okay. On this side, you have a LP port. It's a quick connect. Uh, this is the shutoff valve. This is obviously closed, open. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a quick connect. Uh, it provides you a three foot hose uh, for outside barbecue. Mm -hmm. Hook up to the barbecue, yeah. quick connect, and that's directly connected to your LP. Right. Uh, pretty awesome thing to use. Okay. Uh, has a dust shield. We remove it to test. Okay. To leak test. But I'll put it back. Uh, try to keep this on, especially if you're on the road. Right. You don't get dust and mud. Okay. Let me show you how to use this. Uh, the solar guard. Okay. The solar guard has uh, two screws on either side. Mm -hmm. uh, righty patty, lefty loosey, okay. obviously. And slide down. Slide back up. Whatever steady device tightens it up and it has two latches in the front. These are pretty strong. It's the same material they make tires with. One easy way that I do it, I put my okay. hand here, just put a little bit of pressure. Okay. Just like that. All right. This is one of the safety things before you hit the road that you check. Make sure you, you put these on. Uh, let me do this open so we can do the windows and let me get into the inside. Okay. Uh, the side ones, they're identical. Uh, these are just shields, uh, but the top is kind of open. So leaves and dirt over time gets in here and you'll see it build up in here. The way you clean it out is uh, these two screws. They're not actually screws, they're like, they're kind of like locks. Okay. So you don't actually screw them off, you just turn them quarter, okay. they just come off both of them and it swings open. Okay. You can actually pick it up, take it out of the hinge, but you don't really need to just fling it open, wipe it down, go back. Okay. Very easy to use. Uh, water heater, it's, it is uh, service side only, 
but you could all obviously clean it out, keep it clean. Uh, if you need to store it for a longer time, uh, this is the drain plug. Undo that, let the water just flow out. It won't harm it, just let it flow out. Uh, drain the water, don't let the water sit in there if you're gonna have it uh, for like okay. six months or a year. Okay. Don't leave it in there because it's gonna start stinking. It'll stink really bad. Um, that's how you drain the tank. Okay. Uh, everything else, if, if it's gonna, you're gonna get build up in here, dirt, leaves and stuff. You can blow it out, wash it out, whatever you want. You won't harm it whatsoever. What's the other? Uh, this here? one is, is the breeder. When you actually, yeah, like oh, okay. You. Uh, when you open this, it's gonna, it's not gonna flow out that easy because uh -huh. you need to release the air. Okay. So you just pull this up. All right. We'll suck in the air and I'll, the water will okay. gush out. Yeah. That's. All right. That's all you have. Uh, on these ones, you have uh, stabilizers. Stabilizers. Uh, every corner you have one, and we provide you with a hand crank. So you just put it on, uh, hand crank it down. They're not uh, 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 what do you call it? Uh, levelers. Yeah, sorry. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, they're not levelers. They're not that strong. They're not going to lift your unit. It's going gonna, it's gonna to break down. But it'll stabilize it so it doesn't feel okay. like you're in a boat. Uh, your fresh water tank valve, drain valve, is right here. Uh, if you want to, just like the, the water uh, water heater, if you want to park it for a long time, drain that water out because okay. you're going to get a really bad stage in there. Right next to it is the sewer hose uh, 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 compartment, storing it. It's actually yours is from the other side, but you can do it from this side too. It's the same on both ends. This is your fresh water tank has a breather here, so when you put the hose in there, don't worry that you're gonna keep running back and forth trying to check how much water you have. Uh -huh. It's gonna spill out. This one is for dry docking. Uh, if you fill up your tank, you have to use your pump, which I'll show you the button inside, and it'll run everything with water. This is your uh, <coughs> uh, furnace, the back end. It's the service side. You can open it if you want. Your switches, the motherboard is in there. Uh, you don't do much here. The only thing you want to do if it's if it's parked for a long time, spiders get in there. They, they block the passengers. You could blow it out. Okay. Uh, we talk about the wheels. Pre uh, pre trip. This is one of the pre trip things that you have to do. Recommended for you to do. It's 110 uh, torque when you torque the wheel. Oh, the wheels. Okay. Uh, it's 110 pounds. Uh, it's recommended every time you take a trip, just double check because they're aluminum over time they just loosen up. Okay. Them. And the PSI on the tire is 60. And if you forget that, it's on the tire. Okay. On the uh, this is the back end of the refrigerator. This is the service part of it. You can open it, clean it out whenever you like, if you want to. It won't harm it if you don't. That's the 30 amp. This is your TV for the outside. You hook up your TV to uh, use everything, cable. Uh, this is your uh, outside shower. Uh, it's, it's, it runs on the same thing, on the same line as the faucet. So if you're using a dry docking, if you use the, uh, the tank, the pump will run this, or okay. the city will run that. Okay. Uh, this is for, it has a tiny hook here for like washing your feet if you're at the beach. Okay. Uh, it turns off and on from here, or obviously at the, okay. at the knob right here. Uh, you have your, uh, your valves, your drain valves. Uh, you have an LED light. Black is toilet only. Gray is everything but toilet. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You do black first and then gray. Uh, this one only that has a, a caution sign. That one is the black tank flush. What you don't want to do is mix these two up together. That'll okay. be very horrible. Okay. Because you'll put the city line here thinking it's the city and you'll walk away and it'll fill up the tank and the, they'll come out of the toilet and just right, pour right. everything out. So one thing you don't want to do, it's smaller, larger, and has a right. sticker. So uh, can you explain how the flush works? Yeah, of course. Uh, the pipe is directly on top of the tank, so it basically flushes the black. Okay. So first you hook up, hook up your hose, uh -huh. open your valve, turn on water. However long you want to leave this open, okay. to, for you to see clear water coming oh, out, okay. so you're clean. Okay. 
up and then close this water and then close your water. So does it spray the walls like in a fan pattern or? Exactly. Okay. It's kind of like, yeah, fan pattern. Okay. Like a sprinkler kind of. Yeah. You have your backup camera. The only way the backup camera turns on if you have your running lights on is, is because that backup camera is uh, taking power from that light. So when you want to use it, undo it. The first thing you want to do is have one hand on it so it doesn't go back. And this is the locking arm that holds the uh, awning down. Uh -huh. It has a home, it's not locked in there, that needs to be free. So you take this out, it comes above. There's nowhere else you can put it. Okay. That's the only place you can put it. All right. You put it there and you need to lock this. And this has a large spring inside and this is the lock for it. For you to lock, uh, lock it, you just hold on to it. The closer you get to it, you have more strength. Okay. The further you are, it gets kind of wobbly. Okay. And you just, oh. okay. just lock it for it. You, you'll know it when it's locked, obviously it'll get tight. So this is just a pin that went into a hole? Yeah, exactly. Okay. The only tricky part is right here when you lock it. It's got a kind of slimy uh, Next thing, you want to raise it up. It has four holes here, four settings. You don't want to pass the fourth one, because if it falls out, you're going to have a really hard time putting it back in. All right. So you go one at a time. And this is what it's holding you. You go forward, you just push out. You release, you pass the first one, let it go, so it catches the next one. Okay. Let it go, it catch the next one. Okay. And it's four, so you're on number three, and there's one more, I think, around here. Okay. Once it catches that, you have about four to five inches until it falls out. All right. Two safety things, if you have a wind over 10 miles an hour, close it up. Okay. Uh, if you get like a nice amount of rain, it's heavy rain, close it up. Okay. And the way you bring it back down, It is uh, 25 feet. We provide you adapter from 30, 30 to 20. Okay. That you could use it on a regular outlet. Oh, nice. We provide you with that. A also regular home the, outlet. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you can use the you can use the adapter. It'll run everything except the microwave and the AC. Okay. Those two you need 30. Okay. If it's above, it's, it's fine. You're not gonna harm it if you have actually 50 coming to the to the okay. unit. Nothing's gonna happen. It's just still gonna use dirt. Okay. These locks are super easy to use. Just turn them, bring them down, the lock. Okay. Sewer container that you couldn't reach from the other side. Yeah. You can reach it from this side. Okay. Uh, undo. Slide it in there. The door. Uh, your screen door opens up. Uh, you release it from the latch right here. And these guys are pretty tough. You can actually. Unless you really intentionally slam it, I don't think you'll ever do that. But yeah. And this is the only way to close it. it has a dust shield. And this is the only way you can open it inside or outside. Now, you could you could have the screw door like that and close the door right on top of it. It piggybacks it blocks. Okay. Right in. Nice. This is just like a house door. You could actually lock it and just close it. Oh, lock it. Okay. Just like a house. And you have your deadbolt outside or inside. 
uh, has a catch here. This is pretty strong. You could actually let it go. It'll catch it. All right. You don't want to really slam to it. You're not gonna. You're not gonna bend anything. But just in case, you don't want to put a nice dent here. Right. You slam it. This is your step. It's very easy to use. It goes up and tucks in. You have a outside plug. It's a GFI, which is only one pen. It's not a burner. Step light. Uh, which is operating. Three key hooks, uh, blackboard, magnets, fire extinguisher. It is a, a B and a C a fire extinguisher. Uh, magazine holder. You have a compartment here. It's pretty large size. Your lights, when you come in here, the first one is your overhead uh, lights right here. You could make it less if you want. You have the option, just like a car dome light, you can make it a one, or you could actually shut that one off if you want to just use that one. You save more battery that way. Totally up to you. Uh, the second one was the, the step light. Right, okay. Uh, the fan right here, very simple. It's all manual operated. This controls the lid, controls the fan. It goes up, if you have it on, speed mm -hmm. uh, there's a release I believe it's on this side well actually it's on this side right there if, you, if I close it it'll shut the fan off okay it, there's a kill switch okay. all right so you can just leave you can just leave it on a speed yeah exactly. okay. you, as soon as I open the lid it's gonna take off Sorry. all right okay your AC, uh, very easy to use, uh, has a fan and it has a heat pump, which is, oh, it just acts like a uh, heater, but it's just electric operated. Uh, and while you also have the furnace, which is the LP. Oh, so you can uh, use either or both. Yeah. If you, don't, you want to preserve your LP or you ran out, you can use that. If you're plugged in, it'll only work if you're plugged in. Yeah. Or you can use your LP, your okay. furnace. Your furnace is right here you pick the temperature okay high or low and off and on all that's right. all you do just, just the off and on button is very tough because uh, it's brand new i don't know if you want to try it, it just hurt my finger just to <laughs> push it yeah yeah you can yeah. leave it on all the way on coldest though right yeah and then it wouldn't ever ever kick on really it will never kick okay on. The, the gray side the gray and black side that's your fan basically the ac won't come on the blue side is your fan, I mean your AC speed, high to low. And if you want to use your heat, there's a, I'm actually on heat right now. There's one red button there. You go on heat mode and you move the thermostat. Okay. All right. And it's going to convert to heat. Let's say if you're on the AC mode, you just switch over or you can set a temperature you want to be. Okay. You know, just like a car. Or it's your bench, it turns to a bed. But you need to remove the cushions. Um, it's very easy to use with these black latches right here. All you do is just release and just press it down. You can have it up. You could turn these this, this around if you would like to. And it has a lock here. You can release the lock. The lock right here. And it just slides over. There's like different positions you can have it in. You can have it like this, slide it over, right. play with you. So when it's a bed, these these are just extra cushions in the back? The back is extra cushions. Okay. These sides are right in the middle, on top of this. All right. Our blinds are just like a home blind. That's all. Just like that. Your windows are very simple. Open, close. These guys are very strong actually. If you forget and you don't close it and you're, and you're driving off, nothing will happen. You have two, uh, two speakers, you have a smoke detector and a carbon monoxide. You have a privacy curtain right here. It just slides on the rail. You have a plug down here, and that's a regular GFI plug. There's one tank. And you plug in, you can use it. You have a storage underneath the bed. Provides you that with containers. Yeah, you have I think four containers. 
the, the whole thing is pretty pretty large, so it goes all the way to the back. It's the battery disconnect switch. Uh, on, you turn everything on uh, from the battery and back. Uh -huh. You can use everything 12 volt. Uh, or you can turn it off, it, it shuts everything off uh, from, from the battery back. So if you forget a light, let's say, uh -huh. uh, you can just turn it off and oh. shut everything off to mobile. Okay, when you're so storing it? Yeah, okay. you're storing it, you go on off mode, not plugged in. If you're plugged in, it, it doesn't care if it's on or off. Okay. You can still use it. Everything. You would just need it on for dry camping, really, right? Yeah, Okay. dry camping, you need it on. Okay. Windows, that, that's an exit window. That's the only window that you could use it as the bottom portion. You could open up just like the other one uh -huh. I just did. Or, or that red lever, just, yeah. yeah, lever. That's two of them. You undo that, and the whole thing switches open. That's okay. Just your, okay. And a little bit over 90 degrees, actually, it'll come off. You could pull it off. Yeah. Okay. If you're like in super hurry, you could just slam into it. It'll fly off. Okay. It's designed for that. So you could use that as an exit. Also, you could just push on that screen. It comes off. It has a gasket around it. It just comes off the gasket. You can use that as an exit. Too. Okay. Uh, we have two reading lights. Those are manually operated. They're both LEDs. Uh, overhead compartment. The bedroom light is uh, manually operated too. You have your skylight. Uh, very easy to use. You see here you have two cutting boards. Just like a regular home faucet. Okay. Uh, on the bottom, you have this drawer for the utensils. Compartment on the side, compartment here. Uh, you have a storage down there. Uh, you have another storage right here. It's a little smaller one, decent size. Uh, microwave, I'm pretty sure you guys know how to do that one. Yeah. This will only work on 110 only. When the lock come on. You can tell when the light is off, that means it's shut off. Okay. The cutting boards are pretty secure when you're traveling, or you could just remove it, put it in a closet, or put it down here, it's up to you. Your stove, super easy to use. I use my thumb, push it down to light position, just hold on to it, and that's, that's your light. Let it go, and it has two settings, high or low. Okay. Two overheads, two USB connections. This is for charging. Uh, this one, this USB is for if you want to watch for from your laptop or yeah. your camera. Okay. Get up to that, watch on your TV. It is a uh, DVD player and a CD player. Bluetooth, Bluetooth speaker. I just saw a right here. Bluetooth speaker. Uh, it has a surround sound up from the speaker if you're watching DVD only or, or USB if you're on auxiliary it's, I'm not saying that but if you go on auxiliary uh, go on your speaker okay. you have a manual light here choose either light uh, over here this switch is for the refrigerator fan uh, you want to turn that on, especially if it's a hot day, because all the heat will come inside. You want to have that light on, it just blows all the heat out from the, those two panels we opened up. It'd be okay to just leave it on during operation, right? Yep. Okay. The antenna on top, you see it, uh, it looks like a mushroom, a white mushroom. Okay. This is how you release the arm. You hold it down, and see it comes off. Okay around in different locations. The refrigerator is very simple to operate. Super simple. Uh, on switch, choose your setting. Uh, obviously the coolest into the low to high. Okay. Uh, th th these are the options that you have how to run it. Go on uh, propane or uh, if you plug in. Right now we're plugged in. And, uh, and this is auto for auto. Okay. Yeah, 
Uh, auto, if you're plugged in, it's always going to yeah, use that one thing. It's just, you open it just like this. There's blue LED inside. This is your LP detector down here. LP, as you know, is very cold. It's like nitrogen, so it stays low. So that's why the detector is down. Uh, obviously, you can tell from the light, it's, uh, it's operating. It says green on, red alarm. This is your breaker box, also your fuse box. It has a small window here, and I'll show you why. So you open it up. I'll show you which fuse it does what job. And this is your tow boat side. This is your 110 side. Oh, there it is. If the fuse comes out or, or pops, uh, that light comes on. And you can see it from here. Okay. So you're passing by, see a red light, your fuse is out. Your main closet. Uh, you have a light in here. Uh, you have a coat hanger. Uh, I've seen people put shelves here or IKEA shelves, you know, those plastic ones. Uh -huh. You have a lot of room to do anything you like. That's a furnace uh, vent, towel rack, and uh, I'm going to show you this part right here. Okay, your monitor here, obviously, water pump off that's if you dry docking and you want to use your fresh water tank mm -hmm. uh, this is what whatever it says that's all it does battery I'll show you battery power it's always going to be 13 and a half or 13.6 if you're plugged in because it's charging it's going to be very high as soon as we unplug it's going to go like 12 and a half mm. or 12 even uh, if you're using something it's going to show your your fresh water is 100% right now. You can drain it before you take off. We just fill it up when, because we're testing it out. It's it's percentage, it's not gallons. Uh, your gray, I'm going to drain these out before you go. It's just clean water. And your black, it's 100%. Uh, and the, on the bottom, you have your ceiling light. You have your water heater. It's gonna, it tries three times to fire up. Right. If it doesn't fire up within three times, it turns off and you're gonna see a solid light. Okay. Toilet right there, uh, you toilet flush. If you, if you flash, flush it halfway down, it'll just fill up water in there. Mm -hmm. Just like a home, so you fill up a little bit of water in there and then press it all the way down and flush it the whole thing. Right. Uh, has a shut off valve in the back of the toilet. If for some reason you wanna shut it off, you can close that valve. Okay. Your sink behind you is just a regular faucet, like a home faucet. Uh, shower, just like a regular shower. The, the shower head has an off and on right here. You can turn it off and on from right there. Uh, you have a, it's, it's a uh, string for hanging items. It, it hooks up on this side, mm -hmm. right there. Okay. Uh, the shower curtain or door unhooks. Slides over, goes into this guy. This is the drain portion. If you go to a, a RV uh, uh, park, they have drains on the ground. This is made out of clear plastic, so you can see it, it's clear going in, down, all that stuff. Uh, basically, this clips to this, and then one end clips to your drain. Okay. Uh, it hooks on, has little ears, just like that. They grab onto it. Okay. Uh, gloves, um, city water hookup if you need it. Uh, either at some parks, their hookups is different. You might need the adapter. Oh. Uh, you might use it on your city water here also. It just depends. Okay. It's just the adapter they provide. Uh, a leveler. Uh, this is your 30 to uh, 20. You do get four pouches for, for a black tank. You're flushing it out. You get two toilet papers and a 25 foot hose. Uh, the toilet papers, obviously you're gonna run out of that. When you buy a toilet paper, buy the ones that says uh, septic uh, tank free or septic tank use. Buy those because those, when it hits water, it uh, okay. kind of okay. That All those right. are safe. Okay. Uh, try not to flush any like uh, wipes or wet ones, baby mm -hmm. wipes, stuff yeah. like that. They'll get caught. Yeah, that's all it is. Uh, this is this is your complete manual. Not only is what I talked about in here, 
but the, all the appliance manuals are in here. Also. Okay.